Hello and welcome back to The Cock Dice. We're back with another conversion video and this week I'm tackling a Necron Overlord. Bit of a change, fancied a bit to, to paint something other than Space Marines for once. So I ended up with a spare Overlord from Indomitus. Uh, they're all over eBay and whilst I was bidding on other stuff uh, I spotted this guy and managed to pick him up for a whole pound. I was quite chuffed with that. Um, I've already got one. So in fact I've already got two Overlords. Um, so I thought I'd do an extra one and I'd do something a bit fun with this. Mainly I'm going to give this guy a tail. I want him to come up with a bit more of a wraith-like look. So all I'm going to use from this guy is his main body here and his spine and that's it. The rest of it's going to go in the bits box and I'm going to swap out uh, some of his gear and give him a wraith tail. So I'm going to clean all the parts up and then we'll start with the assembly. So yeah, the only bit that's going to need a bit of surgery is I'm just going to have to remove this chest piece from the rest of his arm here. And it's just a matter of getting a knife in between the two. Just working through here just a little bit. And just make lots of small slices and we'll just work through and we're through in no time. So the next major operation is going to be removing his legs from his upper body here and we want essentially to clip it just around there because I don't need any of this. So just take that out, take his legs off and then we'll get a knife in here and just clean up this little bit in here a little bit. So just a matter of getting a knife in here and just cleaning this up just out of the way. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I also want to give this guy a resurrection orb on this arm. So we're going to take this arm off here, just cut through around that elbow joint. And I don't really need to keep this front, uh, front of the arm or anything. So I'll just get rid of that. And that should now fairly nicely sit on there, which it pretty much does. Be able to fit that with probably no green stuff at all. So I've just glued his Wraith tail on, uh, obviously this is from the Wraith kit, uh, they're awesome and I've got loads of spare after building some Canoptic Tomb Sentinels the other year. Um, so I've just glued this together and glued it on the base and I'll get a few minutes but essentially his body is going to go together. But essentially we're going to mount him like this top of here. So next we're going to need to do some surgery on his torso. Mainly we need to make sure there's enough space to get the bottom of the wraith in there. So I'm next going to need to stick the body together here. I've just realised he's actually got half a head and I'm going to replace his head with this one which I believe is from the um, Annihilation Barge Kit, so I'm just going to clip off just a little bit higher than his head, like that. That'll give me a position to put his head on, like that. So for his Staff of Light, we're going to be using this from the Triarch Praetorians Lich Guard Kit. And I've got a hand from that kit as well to fit it onto. And the other bit on this, where we cut his hand off the other piece of the chest here, we're just going to have to stick that in there to make sure his chest cavity is complete. There we go, that gives us his full chest cavity and we can still get into where his arm's going to go in there. And this should fit, I should be able to just push this in, there we go. So that's not glued yet. I don't want to glue it just yet because I want to make sure I've got some space to manoeuvre it around. I want to go on top of here. I was hoping to be able to get that all the way into his chest cavity, but looking at it, I think it's too long, so we're going to make a bit of an extender. So we need something that will fit into his chest cavity. So this looks like it will do, thereabouts. We're going to essentially mount this on top of there. So we're going to take the top of this off, and I'll cut the bottom of this off, and we'll just start figuring out what sort of height we want it to be at. 
So this looks to be about the right sort of piece that will fill the chest cavity and we can start building him a bit of a waistline and um, connector for. So we'll just sit this essentially under here like that and then build his tail out from there. So I'll just figure out where this needs to go. This of course is a trans-dimensional beamer, I think it is, from the Wraith kit. Okay, after a little measuring, we're going to take just there. And we're going to go straight through this. There we go. And I'm just going to straighten up the bottom of it just a little bit. And that provides our connection between his upper half and his lower half there. Obviously this is a little messy at the moment so we're going to need to start covering that up with some stuff and probably going to flatten this little nub off here and I've got this which I think is from a Cryptek. So what I'm going to do is remove this leg, trim around here a little bit and we'll fit that on. So after a bit of messing about I've realised that this actually is too flat to here so I need to bring it out it doesn't fit neatly down this side here so I need to bring this out essentially just about that far for that we're going to take one of these weapon mounts from the wraith kit and just trim it to shape and fit it on there so here we are I've trimmed off the back a little bit and I'm just going to glue it into position and I should just bring it out far enough for it to fit neatly so there we are, that's just brought this out a little bit and will allow us to attach the belt to this front end here. Now I think now we've got that front belt, I'm going to get the torso on. So you may just need to do a bit of trimming inside just to make sure it fits just over this neatly. And I'm going to line it up like that. So he's facing kind of this direction. So mainly this is some glue on top here. And the edges, and I'm going to put a dab on there. I'm going to try and make these two connect just to give it a bit more of a stronger connection while it dries. So he's had a little bit of time to dry off and we're going to build him some flanks out now from either side just out of these two pieces which are the rear end of a wraith. I showed them to you before. We just need to basically bulk this out a little bit because he looks a little fine here and I'm imagining these will sit somewhere down here somewhere down there we'll sit these two pieces just lifting out a little bit and then we'll tie it up the back with some extra gubbins so great trick when you're converting something and you haven't got a huge amount of connection points what i've done here is i've dropped a couple of balls of blue tack or white tack in this case and i've glued them up at the top here while it dries i'll leave the white tack in and i'll find a way to bridge this I say I found a way, I've already got a way, I've got a bunch of bits out here and we're going to build this up area up a little bit here. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm just going to, because I've got some bit of waiting time again, I'm just going to drop his resurrection orb on here. So I'm going to root about um, my bits box and various other pieces I've got. Actually, I think this tachyon arrow will be the simplest way of dealing this. So we're just going to essentially drop that over there, covering the joint between the two, point it down so I'm going to trim across here and I'm going to leave the hand on here and I'm just going to flatten that off so I've got somewhere to stick it to. So there we go that's fit on nicely and it's covering over that bit of unsightliness at the back and as also I've put a bit of glue around the tops here and here and that's just going to help make these a bit more strengthened as they dry then obviously I can remove it all later. So we're down to the last couple of jobs now I'm going to pop his head on because I now know which way he wants to be facing and then we'll glue his spear arm on as well. And there we have it, a Necron Lord with snake tail, staff of light, resurrection orb. And if you want to see him painted up, just hold on a minute, there's an image coming up right now. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. 
And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care and we'll see you next time.